Speaking of fraudsters, let's talk about Tesla and Elon Musk. We heard the news today that Tesla Model S is no longer recommended by the Consumer Reports due to reliability concerns. Now we know that Tesla quality, the production quality of Tesla is going down every single day and they've been exposed to make last minute runs to Home Depot to patch up the cars and throw them out just to meet the production quota and the expectations. And in this case, they say that Tesla Model S problems include its air, suspension and main computer and the touchscreen control. And the only Tesla model that is recommended by the publication is the Model 3. Anything else is garbage from Tesla. Model 3 remains their best vehicle and they pour all of the attention on this particular model. And by the way, did you know that the recent run in Tesla shares after announcing that they were being included in the S&P 500 made Elon Musk very close to becoming the second richest man in the planet defeating Bill Gates. Remember that Tesla only made 24 billion bucks in revenue, but Elon Musk's net worth is equivalent to almost four times the revenue the entire company produced last year. And now Tesla is becoming very close of surpassing the valuation of Berkshire Hathaway. Good entry price, bro. And by the way, the richest or the second richest man in the planet, I should say, Elon Musk, Reverend Elon, is hiring a lot of people, but he is hiring them as part time employees because if he does hire them as full time employees, he has to buy laptops for them. So Elon cutting corners in his car productions. Remember that he forgot to pay the water bill in one of his factories. And now we find out that he is too cheap to buy laptops for his employees. We still love you, Reverend Elon. Kind of. Not really. Moving on to Tesla. And Tesla is recalling over 9 thousand Model X and Model Y cars over roof and bolt issues. Now, Reverend Elon just became the second largest, not largest, the second richest man on the planet. But Reverend Elon has a reputation of being very, very cheap. We talked about him wanting to hire people part time rather than full time because he doesn't want to buy them laptops and we talked about the time when he forgot to pay the water bill in one of his factories and we also heard the stories about tesla making a last minute runs to home depot to patch up their cars and send them out to meet the production numbers and quotas leading to quality issues and here we caught reverend elon buying cheap bolts from home depot because he doesn't want to pay extra 20 cents for the high quality made in the usa bolts and the result here is quality issues and recalls for tesla and maybe reverend elon should cut some costs by removing the entire battery from his cars and rolling them down the hill instead. That would save a lot of money, I would say.